Have you ever done the dance? You know what I mean? You kind of danced around a person that you kind of wanted to work with and you thought they might be a business coach, but you just weren't quite sure. Hi, I'm Lisa Larder, and this week I want to talk to you about how to choose a business coach. And I want to start by telling you a story, because if you're a coach, this is really important. I was running this program I have called The Pilot Project, and somebody went to an event, a colleague of mine, and they came back and they sent me an email and they were all excited. They signed up for that person's coaching program. And I was like, wow, that's great. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Why did you choose to work with that individual instead of me? I thought you were really enjoying this program. And their response was, duh, Lisa, I didn't even realize you had a coaching program. So number one, if you're a coach out there, you want to make sure that it's crystal clear to your audience that you actually have a coaching program. The other thing that you want to do is when you are looking for a coach is you want to make sure that that coach is actually responsive to you. So you know, recently I've been doing the dance, I'm trying to pick somebody new that I want to work with, and it's really interesting to me. I have one person who's really, really, really responsive, and I have another person who's kind of not responding as quickly as I would like them to. And that makes me question whether they're really interested in my business. So you really want a coach who is going to be responsive to your needs. The other thing you want to look for is results. Do they have a proven history of results that you would like to emulate? If you are running a seven-figure business, chances are you're not looking for a coach who can help you get to six figures, right? Because you've already been there, done that. So you want to find somebody who is further along the path but not so far along that they can't actually get where it is you're trying to go. The third thing that you want is similarity in values. Now, I don't think that you should marry your mother when it comes to coaching. I don't think that this person should be a carbon copy of you, but I do think that your core values should be the same. If the way that this person behaves and operates in their business doesn't align with the values that are important to you, chances are over time, that's gonna get on your nerves and isn't going to work for you. The fourth thing that I think you need to consider is the type of business model that they have. So a lot of the people that work with me work with me because of my experience in retail, leading a very large sales organization as well as running my own retail store. They work with me because of my experience in wireless and they work with me because of my experience in social media. I don't typically attract people from the construction industry because you know I don't really know anything about the construction industry. So look for coaches that have experience in your space that can help you to do what you do because they actually get that thing it is that you do. And then last but not least when you're looking for a coach, first thing I want you to do is look in the mirror. Are you looking for a coach or are you looking for a savior? Because there's a lot of people out there that misinterpret the difference between a coach and a savior. And a business coach is not there to save you. They are not there to do the work for you. They are not there to feed you leads in your business. They are not there for you to ride their coattails. They are there to coach you, guide you, give you the skills and knowledge that you need to do the work. And a lot of times I hear people complain about coaches. They complain because they spent a boatload of money and they didn't get the results that they wanted when the truth of the matter is they didn't do the work. So consider these things when you're hiring a coach. It's not the coach's responsibility to turn your business around. It's your responsibility. And ask the coach, what are their favorite types of clients to work with? I like to work with people who are action jacksons. They get things done. I also like to work with people who are results oriented because I am all about the numbers. And the third thing is I like to work with people who believe that if someone else can do it, so can they. I don't like working with victims. I don't like working with people who don't take action. If that's the type of person you are, we're not going to be a good match. So ask them too what 
their best clients look like so that you know whether you fit into the category that they serve best. Now I'd like to hear from you. What have your experiences been in working with a coach? What has worked really well for you? What do you wish you hadn't done? What advice do you have for other people? The comments are the best part of this where you get to sound off and share with me and everyone else. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again next week on another edition of Shop Talk.